YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Movie Zone starring me, the Doctor of Movies. So let's get started, shall we? Thank you for watching my first video for yesterday's brand new show. So let's get to it. There's been a new news speculation of, from last night that actor Stephen Amell will be playing uh, Casey Jones in the new Ninja Turtles Part 2 movie in 2016. Now right now this is basically a rumor still. Now I'm not, not too sure. I gotta look at my, my, my information if it's actually confirmed. By Nickelodeon and the other and Paramount because they they're the ones who own the rights. However, you can't go online look up you know information, find out who's playing who, and what movie unless it's been confirmed by the studios or, or the actors or directors. I mean, he's saying that he is, but like I said, you know he could be, going for the role right now. We don't know yet, but until I find out the actual truth, to me, I'm considering this a rumor, and my thoughts on this. I think it'd be pretty cool to see him in. In um, Ninja Turtles, I mean, Casey Jones is one of those characters. He's a badass, but he's also one of those guys who, who's 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 goofy, but he he likes hanging out with his friends, the turtles, because he was in the first Ninja Turtle movie and he was awesome. And then they didn't bring him back in the second original movie, and then the third one he was only in a couple of scenes. And the actor who played him from the original, he was pretty good. So, I mean, I really like uh, Stephen Amell. If you don't know who he is, he's actually Arrow. On the CW, you know the story about Green Arrow. Such a great show. Cannot wait to see more. And you know, it's hopefully he ends up being him. So that's the first topic of the day. The second topic is there are new rumors now speculating that um now this is a rumor, basically saying that in the the new Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice movie, the first teaser will be will be attached to uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Now, speculations also say, and other you know websites are saying that they have sources that it might be true. But honestly, I have to say, in my opinion about this, I I don't believe it due to the fact that Comic Con is coming, and Marvel a couple a couple weeks ago said they're not going to be a Comic Con, but they might be there for something small, maybe for Ant Man. But if I was Warner Brothers, I think I would keep it at Comic Con just so you know we can stick it to Marvel. Because, you know, Marvel so far has been basically the juggernaut of bringing out the best superhero movies yet. I mean, DC so far has only got Man of Steel. And hopefully next year, you know, Batman vs. Superman does well. So hopefully this happens. I mean, I wouldn't mind because I'm going to go see Mad Max Fury Road. And the new trailer just hit. I'm about to talk about that pretty soon. And, um... Well, let's just see what happens. I mean, I hope it's true, but honestly, I wouldn't mind also if they don't put it out to Comic Con of this year. So, topic um, now we're gonna get into the um, movie review trailers, trailer reviews. We have two new trailers to talk about. Last night, the Mad Max Fury Road trailer two, I believe, yeah, two came out, and it it looks incredible. Mad Max Fury Road is one of those movies where it's uh, the Mad Max is played by um, Tom Hardy. And um, he's basically um, running from like different you know gangs from you know in the desert, and it, it just looks violent. It looks incredible. I cannot wait to see this movie. I mean, the original Mad Max is also awesome. If you haven't seen that movie, I recommend you do check that out because it's pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, I think this. I'm done with the trailers. I I'm really done. I don't want to see any more trailers for this or Jurassic Park or any other trailer that comes out. I'm done. I rather just see the movie now because if you get too many trailers, and it's gonna show a lot of the movie, and I'm gonna be like, seeing it. Yep, I seen. I know that's coming. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty much. I'm not gonna be, you know, excited to see the movie. I mean, I'll go into it, but I already know what's gonna happen by seeing all these trailers. So hopefully, I mean, they didn't show too much in this trailer. Thank you, because that wouldn't just ruin the experience for me. So. Another trailer came out today, which I saw this morning. It was for the new movie with um, Jason Statham and McCarthy. And uh, it's, it's, it's basically called Spy. Basically, um, Jeanette McC um, she's basically, a, she's trying to get into the CIA and Jason Statham is a spy and she ends up being like a secretary, but then she figure out that she needs to help him out. And the trailer looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool little spy thing. I mean, this movie could be, you know, Dumb could be basically a failure, but honestly, I think this is gonna work, and I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it looks good. 
for the trailer, I'll give it a, an eight. You know, it, it piqued my interest basically, and um, I you know I'm gonna check it out when it comes out, and hopefully it does well. I mean, I really like Jason Statham and um, McCarthy. She's she's become one of those actresses that you know she's just funny. She kind of reminds me of Rosie O'Donnell back in the nineties, because if you look at her really close, she, she kind of resembles her a little bit. Because remember, Rosie O'Donnell back in the day was hilarious. Anything she did, so she's like the new version, and I think she's great. So I can't wait to see it. So hopefully, it turns out pretty good. Um, this next topic I'm gonna talk about is basically my opinion about certain things that um a comic book movie that. It's going to be happening. We're going to be getting a new Spider-Man. As you're aware, Sony made a deal with Marvel to let them borrow Spider-Man so he could be in the cinematic universe. Now, I get we're going to have to get a reboot and no, Andrew Garfield's not coming back. So don't, I mean, you can beg and cry like I am, but honestly, it's not going to work. I'm fairly sure they're going to go for a 13-year-old Spider-Man, maybe even 14, 15 tops, but... Yeah, Andrew Garfield, he did a great job, and, you know, it's kind of sad that he's not going to be back in the next one. But, you know what, the last one, even though it made over $600 million, kind of had some problems in this way. If you want to look at that review, I actually have one up about that. And, um, I, I mean, this is what I have to say about the new Spider-Man that's going to come out. My opinions of what they should and should not do for the, the new one. What they should do is basically... Skip the origin. Just skip it again. I'm done. Just say he's already got his powers. Don't even explain how. Don't even show it. I mean, if you want to show the origin again, do it in flashbacks. I mean, honestly. He's going to be in the Marvel Universe now, so you can just say that he already had it. That he doesn't know what to do, and then he sees the Avengers on TV or something. And then he decides to become Spider-Man. You know what? I mean, I mean, they might not do that, but who knows. I hope they do, because honestly... I don't want to see the origin again. We had it like almost five times already. I I'm done with the origin. You know, so no more. Second thing they should do. Um, hope the costume ends up being pretty good. I mean, honestly, they can really mess up the costume and make it too cartoony for, for the cinematic universe. Because if you notice in you know, the Avengers and all the other Marvel movies, some of them, they all started off pretty colorful. Now they're starting to get darker, which is a good thing because darker and realistic makes more better because due to the fact that some, you know, cartoony version of a movie wouldn't work on the big screen because it won't be too realistic. Like if you take Batman versus, I mean, Batman versus Superman, that's going to be dark. That's going to be gritty. I mean, that's, they're going to have to make it realistic how Batman can actually beat Superman. So, you know, it can't be like in, you know, the Schumacher Batman movies where Batman's all colorful, he's got a Batman card and, you know, cheesy lines. I mean, honestly, if they're going to make Spider-Man for the new cinematic universe, they have to make him work, make him realistic, you know, how he should be. Because Spider-Man, he's basically one of those characters that he's strong, but yet he's also human. He may have his powers, but also he's also human in the inside. So I think they should just do something like that, make it... You know, don't make the colorful too bright and too cartoony. Make it cool, but don't, you know, also make it by the comic books. You don't even have to make it by the comic books. You know, I take that back. Don't make it by the comic books if you don't want to. If you want to make a new version of the Spider-Man suit, go right ahead. But don't copy. Don't make it too similar to um, Andrew Garfield's or even Tobey Maguire's version because then people are going to be confused and be like, well, what's going on now? That's another thing about Spider-Man. I just think that keep the web shooters. you got to bring that back. And really show that he's a scientist. I mean, honestly, Spider-Man, besides from to Tony Stark and maybe Mr. Fantastic and Bruce Banner, he's one of the smartest dudes in the Marvel Universe. I mean, honestly. So they got to really focus on that as well. I mean, I want him to be like the one kid in high school where he's so smart that he skips levels beyond everybody, you know? Be like that. I want that one. I want that Spider-Man. Because remember... In comic books and in the cartoons, he does make his own web shooters and he does all that good stuff. They did some of that in, you know, the Andrew Garfield, in the Andrew Garfield version. But, you know, they can, they can really push it to make it like he's just as smart as Tony, Tony, Tony Stark or even Bruce Banner. Can't use Mr. Fantastic because he's in another, in another studio, so. 
Speaking of trailers, there is now a new rumor about um, the Star Wars trailer, the official full-length trailer could be attached to Avengers. Now, Avengers comes out next month in May, which makes sense. May the 4th is coming out, so that's a Star Wars day. Could happen, could not, who knows. My opinion on it, I think, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I wouldn't mind going to the movies, watching and getting ready for the Avengers, because I really cannot wait for that movie. And actually seeing that. But anyway, I'm off topic, I'm sorry. Um, back to the Spider-Man thing. I think for the next Spider-Man movie, um, don't, you know, this is my opinion. I think what this is to not do. Don't use Green Goblin so early in the movie. I mean, honestly, I mean, he's not the Joker where, you know, in Batman where you can put the Joker in any of the Batman movies and it will work. I mean, Green Goblin, he's one of, he's like, he's like the Joker in a way. He's Spider-Man's Joker. But honestly, I kind of want to see other villains. I'd rather them, you know, work towards the the Green Goblin, you know, make it make it him be the last villain of the third movie, maybe even the fourth. You know, build him up. Don't don't just put him in the movie right away. You know, as his first villain, because in two thousand seventeen, supposedly he's supposed to be his own solo movie. So I mean, honestly, Spider Man gonna become Spider Man, and then he's gonna fight the Green Goblin again. That's gonna be Tobey Maguire's movie all over again, and then this is gonna be sloppy, and then people are not gonna be like, I mean. What they should do is just give us some villains that we haven't seen yet and make them realistic people. I mean, Electro, he was good, but he also started off pretty dweeby. I mean, the guy was a complete loser in the movie. I mean, Jamie Foxx, he's phenomenal. He's a great actor. I mean, honestly, but I, I felt like watching him, it felt like Jim Carrey's Riddler. You know, honestly. I mean, even a lot of critics out there can agree about that. Um... Give us a villain that we haven't seen yet. And don't give us Venom. Don't not give us Venom yet. I would rather you build him as well. Because that's another villain that you can really mess up. If you've seen Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 3, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Basically, give us a villain we haven't seen yet. Maybe the Vulture. Uh, Kraven. Uh, don't do the Rhino. Because a lot of people are going to be upset to the fact that you're going to mess up the Rhino again. Due to the fact that you kind of made him a Transformer. Um, yeah, don't do him. I wouldn't want to see him right away. Maybe down the line, but, you know, put somebody we haven't seen yet. Craven the Hunter, um, the Chameleon, Scorpion, Shocker. You know, Spider-Man's got, Spider-Man's like Batman. He's got such a great uh, rogues gallery that they can use anybody. But honestly, build, build towards going forward in the sequels, you know, for Venom, Carnage. Uh, and, you know, Green Goblin. Put Mysterio. There you go. There's a good villain right there. Start off with Mysterio and let him fight him off. And then build towards those villains. You know, give us something we can look forward to. Because if they mess up Spider-Man again, I don't think fans are going to be like, you know what, Sony? I mean, Sony's still going to be in control of this. Sony's going to be the one making the film. But Marvel's going to be helping. So I hopefully Marvel tells Sony, listen, let's do this, let's do that. You know, work together to make Spider-Man great that he was in the first two Spider-Man movies. So, hopefully that works. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching my show. Stay tuned for my next my review coming up soon. will be Fast and Furious 7. So, stay tuned. Thank you for watching Movie Zone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a good day.